Hey everyone, Matt here again, Home Farm Ideas, and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I slap together <laughs> my um, plumbing and all that stuff that I need inside of my aquaponic um, Dutch buckets. So this will be video three, I think. Yeah, video three on a series I'm doing on my Dutch buckets. So I'm just gonna be doing the setting up of the pipes and um, the grommet and hole and all that so so I'm not gonna give you sizes or anything like that just because everybody's gonna be a little different so what I am gonna do is I'll put all the parts all the stuff that you're gonna need for um, this particular setup and um, I'll put that in the description so make sure you guys check the description and um, that should help you you know so if you have any questions obviously you guys post it in the comment section below and I'll get to it um, and if you're around social media and you're seeing this video on like our Facebook pages or yada 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 wherever you're sharing it you know um, come over to, come over to our YouTube channel uh, youtube.com forward slash home farm ideas and I could show you more details on um, you know previous videos we did and everything so anyways um, let's start get, getting a bucket set up and uh, I'll show you how to do all that and then uh, we'll get some water running through it and get this going. So after that, I want to talk about the grow media a little bit that's going to go into the buckets um, because I think it's important. So uh, with hydro, it's not really too important other than you don't want stuff to raise and lower the pH. But anyways, let's set up the bucket. All right, let's do that right now. All right, now I wanted to show you guys the parts, but like I said, I'm going to do a lot more of a detailed description. Uh, well, <laughs> detailed for me. <laughs> description below obviously if I miss something you guys obviously questions right in the comment section down below and uh, I'm sure we can figure out how to get your your bucket set up so anyways just let me go over some of the parts here uh, obviously you're gonna need a Ryobi tools drill <laughs> they sponsor me they give me tools when I need it and stuff so and I really do like Ryobi tools so but anyways you're gonna need a, a drill um, and preferably something that has a few different speeds on it. So slower and then a lot faster too. Um, and then um, you're definitely gonna need a hole saw, one inch hole saw, okay, for uh, cutting the hole in the bucket. You're also gonna need a grommet, okay? And uh, this one is a three quarter inch uh, grommet, okay? And basically, that goes onto the bucket, which I'll show you here in a second. The pipe goes through that, which is half inch pipe, right? And then these two go on the opposite ends of this. So let's, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I do it, um, so bear with me here. But I already know the measurement of my bucket, so I didn't have to actually, I don't have to measure it this time. But uh, let me see if I got this on camera here. Okay, cool. So um, I know that if I line my hole up with this right here, I'm exactly two inches uh, from the bottom. Two inches seems kind of like the sweet spot. So um, so I'm gonna go ahead and line that up real quick. Make sure I'm in the middle of the bucket as best you can. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, then I just go forward on it. I don't go backwards on this, but on my other containers I go backwards and it seems to give a lot cleaner cut this works pretty good for this so I'm just gonna go ahead and gun through it because I'm gonna trim it anyways so and most of the time you want you don't want to let like what I just did you don't want to let the gun basically the whole saw sit on there and then start it again because it could cause a problem so let's see if I can deburr this thing but you basically want to make sure that you're taking off any kind of excess plastics and stuff. Yeah, here comes the airplane, the wind chimes. <laughs> so I really don't care though, as long as you guys know. So this, believe it or not, is the hardest part of the whole thing is deburring this thing. So, you know what, I'm going to clean this up and then I'll get to the rest of this in a second. So let me do that. All right, got that hole 
cut up and ready to go. Now I want to take this grommet out and um, put that on there. So. Three quarter inch grommet. You want to try and wet it sometime. I mean, usually you want to try and wet it in order to get it in the hole, but I think I got it. Says the idiot. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now you want to make sure that you get it nice and seated in there. And wind chimes are a must when you're doing this. Wind chimes have to be done. And then you want to take your pipe and you want to kind of figure out how long it's going to be with the each elbow on both ends. And you want to have one elbow kind of reaching towards the middle of the bucket, okay? That's where I think is the best. So, and then you want to have enough room on the other side to hook it to your main drain line. So, you want to wet this down which I'm gonna do right now and kind of wet around the area real good if you got soap try to use soap and then you wanna get it in there as best you can come on baby a little bit more and you want to try to taper the edges which I did both sides so that's supposed to help. There we go. Once it goes in, it's pretty easy. Then you just wiggle it around and make sure it seats in there real good. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay. Now, you wanna take your 290s show you guys huh you want to take your 290s push one on one side push the other on the other side and then that's it basically so that's what you're looking for right there okay so let's go put it into the main drain line all right you guys so as you can see I already cut a hole in this main drain line that I that I installed and that I showed you in previous video and I already installed the rubber hose that is already pumping water so now what I basically need to do is in my bucket on this end I need to figure out how long of a pipe I need to go into that end so I already pretty much got it worked out on exactly how long I need it so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it and if you don't have a pipe cutter do yourself a favor and get one all the players got these, these pipe cutters. <laughs> so, and then it's real easy. With this uh, half inch pipe, it's a lot easier to work with than the real big pipe, especially when you're pressing things together. It's not that big of a deal. So, at this point, I just take this out, put it in my bucket, and put that down into there. Well, I can do that just to show you how it's gonna go. Of course, the water's gonna run everywhere, but that's okay. Bam, there you go. And then you put that down into your bucket, so. Let me show you what it looks like running. All right, here they are. All connected and ready to rock. So <clears throat> I got the drain line all drilled out all the way up, all the way to the sump. And as you've seen from the previous video, this is the main drain line. This is the inlet. And I did uh, a little drip adapter and I bring the hose up to the actual bucket here. And then, yeah, everything's running. So water comes in here, overflows there, down into the drain, all the way back into the sump tank. So, and they're all working. So, next thing I'll be doing is hopefully putting some plants in. I already started some plants, so. I'm hoping to put some plants in and um, obviously put the uh, hydro clay inside these. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I was going to discuss that with you guys though, because there's other options obviously, but uh, that's probably what I'm going to do. So, Anyways, if you guys like this video, obviously give it a thumbs up. 
and uh, I'm looking forward to actually using these a lot actually. So I'm thinking about growing some super hot peppers, uh, just like melt your face peppers. Um, I can't remember the name of the scorpion ones, but uh, maybe some, uh, you know, habaneros or, or um, yeah, just like some stuff to really kill you. <laughs> So anyways, God bless you guys, like always, and peace. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below where I need to work on it and stuff. I am going to make some modifications, but I'm probably going to save that until the next video. So God bless you.